Yeah, we were preseason ranked um, fifth, um, and uh, I think we jumped a couple spots. The team's performed um, pretty outstanding. We won a, a big season opener, which is almost a mini Big Ten championships at the Woody, uh, Windy City Invitational, um, and then put up a huge score last weekend in, uh, out in Arizona, which has moved us up to third place in the country, which honestly has far exceeded any of the expectations I had for this early on with the amount of injuries that we have. Um, so it's, we're, we're starting off great, um, and we're, I think we're fueled and energized by the fact that we're hosting a Big Ten Championships right here in this building, uh, and the guys have, have really just kind of bit in deep and just are, are taking on everything they can and doing an amazing job early out the gate, and we're only going to get better because we've got some of our top guys still injured doing only half events, um, and uh, that's that's a good thing because they're going to be back, and we're going to be even better as we uh, gear up for postseason in March. So. guys going halfway, it sounds like then they must be fairly close to being healthy. Is that fair? I mean, some uh, of them. Who, um, who are they, by the way? So Bobby Baker, Big Ten gymnast of the year, his freshman year, Big Ten freshman of the year as well as freshman year, um, needs wrist surgery. Um, and so we're managing him. It's a delicate process to manage him. He need, we're going to get a late cortisone injection uh, and hopefully just get him to be feeling outstanding for those five weeks towards the end of, pra uh, toward the end of season. Um, he's not going to be fully 100% until he gets surgery, but we will see a lot more from, from Bobby uh, as we get into postseason, and he's just trying to struggle through and do what he can now. So he's only on two events, but I imagine he'll be back on four or five events um, in postseason. Chandler Eggleston is coming off um, an ankle surgery. He was NCAA runner-up on floor and vault his freshman year, was out all last year with a torn patella tendon, competed last year half strength, needed ankle surgery, I believe he's all fixed up now, um, and uh, I think he'll be full strength probably coming up in the next six to eight weeks. Uh, so I think he'll be full strength for postseason, back on those events, floor and vault, and he's already doing a, a tremendous job on parallel bars and high bar. And so there, and then there's a there's a handful of other guys that are just nursing, you know, shoulder injuries, ankle injuries, wrist injuries that are getting better. They're just not quite in shape from the the gauntlet of preseason we just threw at them over the winter break. Um, and so you'll see some some new names come up in our competition roster, I think, over the next six to eight weeks, and they're going to make uh, big changes. They're going to help our team out quite a bit. So, I guess who are maybe some guys that have slid into those spots you know, with uh, Bobby and Chandler both hurt? Oh, man. Um, it's... So it's interesting. We don't. We for eight freshmen, uh, we only have one guy doing one routine or two. We have, excuse me. We have two freshmen doing two routines for our last two meets. So I typically you think the freshmen would come in and help replace a lot of the injuries, and that was a big part of our thought process is bringing in a, a big freshman class to help with depth, which is competition on each event, but then um, also some coverage if you have injuries. And honestly, it's been a lot of the other just reoccurring guys on our team. Um, Brandon Nye is another one that was was out, and, and he's competing at half strength. He had mono and was out for five to six weeks. He's got about two weeks of training under his belt and, and is performing for us for the last two competitions, but at half strength. Um, I mean, really, it's it's kind of the same old team. and They've just improved over the summer, and um, it's it's been impressive. Guys have stepped up and upgraded. Um, Alex Diab is, one, is a guy that's close to doing all around. Joey Peters is probably a big one that I should mention. Joey Peters is a fifth-year senior. He missed all last year from a, a, a devastating rotator cuff surgery, which I think a lot of doctors would have said, you probably will never do gymnastics again. He's not only doing gymnastics again, he um, is doing the all-around, which is, in itself is just an incredible task, and he's doing it at a very high level. He's just qualified to compete at the USA Winter Nationals in three weeks. And so, I, I honestly, he... He's probably one to speak to to picking up a lot of the slack for a lot of the injuries, uh, in addition to Johnny Jacobson, who's who's sticking out the all around as well. He's a sophomore for us from out of Utah. So Joey Jacob, Joey Joey Peters and John Jacobson, bo both guys doing the all around back to back both weekends. Um, and we're going to try to rest him this weekend against Minnesota, which is not ideal because Minnesota was precinct ranked above us in the Big Ten and the NCAA pool um, before season started, which made us upset because we felt we were a better team. Um, I think we've proven that, but we're not counting them out at all. And so this, this is a pretty big um, 
dual meet coming up this weekend. I think Minnesota wants to prove that they are the better team, despite how we've competed the last two weeks. But we're also we want to do the same, but we have to rest some guys that have been going through this. It, it, doing the all around in, in men's gymnastics is, I think, one of the hardest things in modern day sports. It's truly unbelievable what it does to your body. And these guys are a little broken down after three weeks of, of grind with that. So we're going to try to win, but rest some guys as well. And it's going to be tough to do.